Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I'm a full-time reseller. I love selling dolls. It's one of my favorite niches and I've made several doll videos in the past and you guys seem to really like my last thrifted doll bag video so I figured I'd make a little impromptu video about my newest doll haul. I was thrifting the other day and I came across several bags of dolls and I haven't had a good doll bag haul since the last video I made which was in like October so it's been a minute. The last video was really educational. I was going through, you know, how to value them and how to identify them and all that sort of stuff. This one's gonna be more for fun. We're gonna see what's in the bags and value them. Now, I have no idea what's in these bags. I just saw a bunch of like dressed monster highs and we're like, get in the cart. So anyway, enough about me. Let's get to the dolls. Not as big as my last haul of doll bags, but I do think this lot will be more valuable. We're gonna go over the loose dolls first and then we're gonna tear into the bags. Monster High are really easy to identify with Google Lens, but you can also use the Monster High fandom wiki to see high quality photographs of what the doll looks like complete. I knew this character was Venus McFly Trap, but I didn't know exactly which one. Luckily, her sunglasses made it easy to narrow down. She has her original sunglasses and necklace and vines around her feet. She's missing her shoes and somebody put someone else's skirt on her. There aren't a whole lot of comps available for her, but I'm gonna price her at $20. I wasn't familiar with who this doll was, but she was completely dressed and she was in good condition, so I decided to bring her home with me just to see. Turns out she's a Disney Star Darlings, which again is not a line that I'm familiar with. This line doesn't seem to be very popular. There's a lot listed and not a lot sold, so I'm gonna have to be very competitive at $15 to see if I can sell it. I bought this one for educational purposes because even though I don't know anything about it, it just screams there's something cheap about it. This is a really good example of just because a doll is articulated, like I know I'm always hammering the point home about articulated dolls typically being worth money, that's not always true. Without having any background information on these dolls, two things kind of gave it away for me. The first is the face sculpt is lacking details. You can see what I mean side by side with this Venus McFly trap doll. Look at how much more sculpting in the cheeks and chin and nose she has whereas the other doll kind of has a flat face and not much detail. The next was the clothing kind of looked like an afterthought. At first I thought maybe she was redressed, but when I looked these up and found out they were fairy tale high dolls, I was surprised to see that nope, this is actually how Cinderella comes dressed. So my gut instinct was true. Fairy tale high is a knockoff of Ever After High and they really don't have much value. I bought these just to show you, but they are gonna go straight back to the Goodwill. Let's tear into our first bag, shall we? We're going from fake Ever After High to real ones. This is an apple white doll. She's got her little unicorn shoes and the socks. She's missing one earring and this isn't her original hairstyle, so I'll have to fix it a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna stop me from getting $25 for her. One more Ever After High. This is the Raven Queen, but I could tell right away there was a juxtaposition between her gingham dress and her gauntlets. Sure enough, she's the throne coming doll, but she's been dressed in the picnic doll's outfit. Prices for the picnic doll are not great. The throne coming one would be a little better, so too bad she's not wearing the throne coming outfit, but I'm gonna try and get $20. I've sold many Torley striped dolls, but not this particular one. She has her tail, which is always missing, and also her shoes, which kind of look like little pizza cutters. The braid's not terribly done, but it's not original, so I'll be taking it out. Seems like she's gonna be an easy $30. The individual dolls were $1.50 each, but this bag was only $3.50. Bag number two is the same price, so let's dig in. This is a Caddy Noir. She has her shoes, she has her tail. What more can I ask for? Currently, there are no dolls available on eBay that are outside of the box in this condition. And I was surprised to see that I can probably get about 40 bucks for her. I'm sure at this point, anybody who collects dolls and is watching this is gasping, but I had no idea what I had in my hands. This is a Jennifer Long doll, and my research has shown that she is a Target exclusive doll. And as a reseller, I know that if you have a store exclusive, it tends to be worth more. Valuing her was kind of tricky because even though she's not complete, most of the other ones for sale aren't complete either. For example, the $100 and $110 dolls are both missing a shoe and the anklets. And the solds are all over the place based on what she comes with. I'm gonna play it safe and value her at $100, but still, $100. I was definitely not expecting that. I had never seen this doll before and she looks so cool. I mean, look at her gigantic sun hat and she's even got like a peg leg. 
She's probably my favorite of the bunch. I'm gonna go high and ask 50 on her and I feel like I'm gonna get it. We're in the home stretch, the very last doll bag. Ooh, this one is a very, very close second for Coolest Doll. I just love her look. This is Cast of Fierce and she's like a witchy doll. I just love the look of her giant shoulder cages. It's so rad. I don't think I'll have any trouble getting $30 for her. That tail should look somewhat familiar to you. This is a freaky fusion doll of Jennifer Long and Laguna Blue. She's got her shoes, she's got her tail, all really good signs, but this one has an added bonus. She also has the little hair swoop on top. A lot of the ones for sale had that brushed out. She's missing her little leg fins, but that's okay. I still think she's worth right around $20. Last but not least, the Yeti Girl Abby Abominable. Looked like maybe one of her shoe straps was missing, but thankfully this is all that it's supposed to come with. She is missing her icicle belt and necklace though. I'm still gonna ask about $20 for her. And that's everyone from my latest thrifted doll haul. Minus the two that I don't think are gonna be worth it to resell. If everybody sells for the full asking price I stated, that is $370 in dolls that I spent 17 and some change on. I'm lucky to find one or two dolls at a time at my Goodwills, so it's always a treat when I can find this many high dollar dolls at once. I still think Vandala Doubloons is my favorite out of this lot. Let me know in the comments which doll you'd most like to own out of this doll haul. I love thrifting and reselling dolls, and now I hope you do too. Hey, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you made it this far, click the thumbs up beneath the video. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and I make nothing but reselling content, and sometimes that includes doll videos. Now get out there, have fun, and find some dolls of your own.